All right, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to continue with our coverage of uh, former President Trump's visit to the border in just a moment. But now, as the president, uh, former president was touring the border in Cochise County, we heard from Arizona Senator Mark Kelly as he prepares for an important speech tonight. KGN9's uh, Tina Giuliano joins uh, me now here in studio with more. Yeah, it is a big night for uh, for Senator Kelly. Oh, yeah, it's a big night for a lot of Tucsonans, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. at the DNC. And Senator Mark Kelly actually says it's the goal uh, to get the bipartisan legislation across the finish line, including more pay for Border Patrol agents and fentanyl detection machines. He says former President Donald Trump's visit is nothing more than a photo op. He says the legislation would have helped secure the border but didn't go through because of Trump. Just in July, there was a 32% 32, 32 decrease in border crossings, thanks to the executive actions that the Biden-Harris administration put into effect. Obviously, there's more work to be done, but Kamala Harris is clearly the person for this job. He's speaking at the Democratic National Convention tonight. Among other Arizonans that are set to take the stage, his wife, former President Gabby Giffords, will speak, as well as Senate candidate Ruben Gallego. But one Tucsonan spoke earlier at the DNC, Deja Fox, a university high school graduate, and now she works for the Harris campaign as a Tucson content creator with over 100,000 followers on TikTok. She's the first influencer to speak at the convention. And my message was clear. I talked about what it meant to grow up being a free lunch kid in a public school raised by a single mom uh, who used Planned Parenthood for my health care uh, and what it means to be someone who has then gone on to be the first in my family to go to college, right? Um, and I got to bring issues to the DNC stage that are top of mind for young people, particularly in swing states like Arizona. For Fox, standing on that stage, she says, represented a message of hope for all free lunch kids that college is possible if they want and they deserve a government that has their back. Reporting in the studio, Tina Giuliano, KGAN 9.